What up everyone, my name is Mike and you guys are watching Mr. Mike 12,000. So in this video, we are going to be catching Pokemon in Pokemon Go in the great city of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So, without further ado, let's go get some Pokemon. First one caught. Sucker. So right now we're gonna head over to Logan Square, right there, and see if there's any Pokemon over there. So let's go. So what I want to explain to you guys is in Pokemon Go, there's a ton of different things that you can look for. You got Poke Stops, you got Pokemon, but most of all you have to look at your nearby. So as you can see in the screen right now, you're nearby. These are all the Pokemon that are nearby. Obviously. So if you see three feet, every foot is 10 meters. So if you see three feet, that means that there's 30, they're 30 meters away, which is pretty far. So you want to look for the more relevant ones, which are one or two feet. So before I go any further in this video and before I catch any more Pokemon, I want to show you guys something. So the Poke Stops. Poke Stops are great because you can get Pokeballs there and a ton of other great things in the app. So right now we are currently at one, and this one is called the Swan Fountain. So after this loads up, when you hit the blue Poke Stop, this is what it's going to look like. So simply, all you have to do is swipe to the left or right, and your Pokeballs will drop. And see, I got a potion out of this one, so I got an extra thing. Come up. Good. Good. So something else that I want to explain to you guys, like I said before, are the footsteps under the nearby Pokemon. I just got a Pokemon that is one foot away, that means that they're 10 meters away. As you guys, as you guys can see, right there. So we got a Pokemon that is very close, we're going to see if my phone vibrates, if it does that means that the Pokemon is ready to be caught. Guys, I just got another Poke Stop. check this out. Shakespeare Memorial of Philadelphia. I believe it's right over here somewhere or in the construction. So what we're gonna do is tap that. We got a revive, I, yep, revive, and a two Pokeballs. Yes, it's gonna drain your battery and probably kill your data, but you're catching Pokemon. Alright, so I just found a couple people playing Pokemon Go in Philadelphia right now. What are your what, what are your names? I'm Andy. Andy? Ty. Ty? My name's Raj. And Raj. Okay, so I got a question for you guys. Why did you guys start playing this game? The best game ever. <laughs> the best game I'm ever. the veteran. He said it. Uh, DS games <laughs> in my game. So. Okay, so he played all the DS games, all the games before. And you guys, did you just jump, jump off the phrase? Yes. Yeah. I grew they, up. I just love Pokemon. Yeah. It's only right. How long have you guys been playing since it came out or first uh, day? Yeah, first, the first day. day. Yep. And how have you guys been doing so far? Good. Pretty well? Yeah, yeah. 20. Over 20? Yeah. How about you? 15. 15? I'm 7. Alright, so we found a couple of people in the city right now. We're going to go find some more. And uh, yeah, let's go see. There's Pokemon eggs. Now what the eggs are, you find it at the Poke Stops. And let me pull them up for you. You can find them at Poke Stops and you have to put them into this, this vessel. So you hit this. Start incubation, incubation, sorry, I'm still trying to learn how to spell and talk and do everything else in my life. So you hit incubation, I want to hit infinity, maybe I can't, we're going to hit this one. So what you want to do is you want to start incubating them because if you could, do, if you do that, um, different things come out of it. Oh, we're in Princeton looking for Pokemon with Mike. Why did you guys start playing this game? because I've grown up with Pokemon. <laughs> okay, how about you? Um, same thing, it's quite nostalgic, and he's also been following this for eight months, so I thought that Oh my leave. gosh. <laughs> okay, did you guys find anything good around here in Princeton? Around here, there's kind a lot of Bulbasaur. Of... Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Did you guys hatch any eggs yet or no? Yeah, a couple. Hey, Ty, what's your plan? Playing Poke Pokemon Go. How do you fight? I've never done this before. I'm 
just have to keep tapping them? Yeah, and you can move, dodge shit. But I'm gonna die soon because this thing is like killing me. I died. Oh, that's fucking. Um, that's, what'd you just find? Final last. Final, last final what? Who is it? Last one. I have no idea where it is, but I'm finding this shit. No, I'm not high. I'm fucking 10. What oh, level you guys at? Wait, wait, wait. Carry it, carry it. Ty, don't move. Why? Who's on your neck? Who's on your body? Excellent. That should be fucking good. Dude, I need this so bad. Well, I'm not loading. Two. Fuck. No. That's gonna be a hot. That's gonna be like a thousand with the mystery. It's right, oh, I got him right here. It fucking left me now. No, I think he's so No, it's right! <laughs> no! How'd you guys start playing this? Who'd you hear it from? Um, I heard it from my friend Kendall and my friend Brandon. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I just saw what levels there. are you guys? How are you guys doing it right now? Level 14. Level 12. Level 12. 10. 10. 10? Yeah. yeah. What's the best, or, or what's the highest CP you got on a Pokemon right now? Nine, 908. Nine, oh my what god, 908, sure, okay. I got a uh, 938 Vaporeon. Oh, nice only and the last sorts I caught is 884. What? Yeah. 615. No. Hold on. I'll just start this second. Oh my now. god, that's crazy. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns about this video or any of my videos in particular, leave them in the comments box below. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you do play this game, ever heard of it, or are going to play it, and subscribe to Mr. Mike 12000 for the greatest and latest updates, blogs, and reviews. I'm out guys. See you in my next video. This has been Mr. Mike 12000. Peace.